Hello everybody, this is Dream Gamer back to kick off round one for group G in my tournament. And yes, this is going to be a very open group. I feel like this might be the most open group in the tournament. In fact, a lot of the groups down here tend to be more uh, looking more open so far. And I think out of the, all of them, I think group G and group F will probably be the most open groups. But, you know, enough about that. Let's get on with our matchups. And our matchups include, at first, Nopey going up against Adolf Adams. Heavy Weapons Guy taking on Random Guy 86. And DBW's Original Gangsters 2 going up against Fool's Cap Amato. Which I'm going to just say Fool's Cap. So, without further ado, let's get on with our first matchup. Out to slash! Enough skip. Alright, in the red corner for Nopi we have Tank. Tank was quite impressive for Nopi in the last tournament. And it definitely carried him through a lot of a lot of matches. And I fully expect it to do it again. Or will it? Dun dun dun. <laughs> but no, this tank was very impressive. However, in the blue corner. For Adolf Adams, we got a Polar Canvas. Adolf Adams has gone for a very more wild card type team. And Polar Canvas, definitely a wild, wild child. We'll just have to see how it feels, won't we? I don't know who's going to win this. I, I don't know who's going to win this matchup. I feel like Nopi might have the upper hand, but... Does have to see. Oh, it's a tie. I think ties do favour Tank a bit more. Ooh, Tank getting the opening hit there. Getting the defence boost off as well. This Tank is also super defence type as well, so it's quite the resilient little beast. Another tie. Another tie. Ooh, a tie recovery there from the Polar Canvas. Another tie. Oh, there's the Sand Trap, finally. Polar Canvas getting off the Sand Trap. It will weaken Tank doing the tie. And that could, that could help Adolf Adams here in taking it out. Oh, oh, lag central there. <laughs> Ties will definitely favour Polar Canvas now. Ooh, but Polo Canvas just getting off a hit instead. But again, the super defensive resilience of Tank will limit the damage, and the Crystal Crusher has been triggered. So Ties will not favour Adolf Adams now, they will favour Nopi. Oh, and of course, it's a tie. <laughs> yes, we can attack even in a tie because it's Crystal Crusher, which will crush the Polo Canvas, and it should kill it? Yeah. Oh, bad lag there. Uh, defense boost is good. Boost is going to do nothing at this point. Although, up next for Adolf Adams, we do have a lightning dinosaur. The Orhinoceratops, another wild card. I'll be intrigued to see how well this thing fares. But so far, Nopi does have a very slight lead. Ooh, and that lead is about to be extended. Tank getting off a hit. Doing damage to the Orhinoceratops. Ooh, but the Orhinoceratops does strike back with a Lillian Cure. Boosh. Taking out Tank, getting off that elemental power as well. And healing up a bit thanks to Lillian Cure. And it will have the type advantage over Nopi's second dino. In fact, I think Adolf Adams' third dino will have the type advantage over Nopi's third dino. So yeah, when I said it could go either way, maybe Adolf Adams does have the edge in this match. Based on the type matchups. But anyway, as for Nopi's second dino, we have a Super Baryonyx. And the Awaken mode could be key for Nopi here if he wants to win this match. Okay, the Awaken mode should be on... Three? Yeah. I'm, I'm remembering them now, I'm remembering them. Ooh, a Rhinoceratops getting off a crit there. Although, the Rhinoceratops' moves are relatively balanced, so its crit won't do any much more damage than its other two moves. What it really wants to do is get off a rock move. 
Well, as long as they keep getting hits, the Abrinoceratops looking in good shape. Look at the Lily NQ are there. Adolf Adams has the lead. Oh, that's a tie. Another tie. Ooh, a Rhinoceratops finishing off the Barry. We're not going to see Awaken Mode. Okay then, as for Noki's third Dino and it's going to have to pull its weight here, we have the Soro Fadamax. Adolf Fadam's looking quite impressive so far. But do not count Noki out yet because he, he, still has, he still has this powerhouse of a dinosaur left. And it's easily capable of winning it for him. But Adolf Adams looking solid at the minute. Ooh, but the Soro Fagonax gets a much needed hit. And the Dromeo Rush will be coming in as well. Slippy slap in the Arena Sandbox. Hit from the Orinoceratops though. With the elemental power, that will that damage will be buffed as well. Ooh, but oh I, I think this is curtains for Orinoceratops. It did really, really well though. And got off some damage on the Soil Fragonax, so Adolf Adams will still have the lead. Yep, the, the Orinoceratops is finally defeated, but here comes a real wild card for the for Adolf Adams, the Gondwana Titan, the little sauropod with a big heart. Big courage this little guy has, and he'll have the type advantage over the Sauropagonax, and look at that attack, 2,700, Hydro Cutter and Tabba Cannon to boot. A definite powerhouse, despite it being so little. I mean, look at it. This thing could easily go over here and kill it. But nope, that's not how Dinosaur King works. Oh, and it's a crit from the Gonwana Titan. It's an atomic bomb in imminent. Boosh. Oh, look at the damage. Adolf Adam guaranteeing himself points. Oh, it's a tie. One more tie will win it for Adams now. And he doesn't even need a tie, gets a hit! It's an atomic bomb to finish off the Soul Fagonax and give Adolf Adams the win. Very impressive. Although, to be honest, given the tight matchups, I guess it's not much surprise that Adolf Adams won that. But yeah, really impressive display from the Wild Child. And Adolf Adams opens his tournament, his campaign, with a win. As for Nopi, I'm sure it'll happen in other matches. It just didn't happen today. Got a bit unlucky with the matchups. But yeah, good win there for Adolf Adams. Could his Wild Child team do well in this tournament? Well, you're going to have to wait and see because we've got two more matches to go through in this video now. So up next, we are going to see Heavy Weapons Guy going up against Random Guy 86. A clash of the guys. Alright, this is going to be very interesting because in the red corner for Heavy Weapons Guy, we got a Super Alio Reigns. And they want the Awaken Mode right away, so I don't know how this is going to turn out for him. It might turn out really, really good, or it's going to turn out horrible. But in the blue corner for Random Guy 86, we got a Chasmosaurus. Now this is one of the dinosaurs I picked out from his team, I re that I really like the moveset for, really, really solid moveset. Look at that, 2150. This Chasmosaurus is not to be underestimated. And I feel like it's definitely a wild card for Random Guy. And oh look at this, lightning spear straight off the bat. Big damage coming, Alio Ramus is way. It's gonna need the Awaken mode. <laughs> oh, look at that! Look at the damage! If, if he got off Lightning Axe, I would have killed Alio Ramus straight away. But oh, here's the Awaken mode. Oh, and he's not getting it off. <laughs> Two Lightning Spears from Random Guy 86 has killed Alio Ramus. 
Wow, that was quick as a wink. Alio Ravis is dispatched. And in this clash between Tyrannosaurids and Ceratopsids, it's definitely a 1-0 lead for the Ceratopsids. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? Right, as for heavy weapons, guys, second dino, we have an Uluru Titan. The Uluru Titan looks like a ghost. Hoping to do to fare better against the Chasmosaurus than the Alio Ramus did. But yes, random guy 86 already in a sizable lead. I said that Chasmosaurus is not to be trifled with. Okay, it didn't get off lightning spear this time. And Heavy Weapons Guy finally gets a hit, and it's an egg attack. The howl of the pack, the strength is in the pack there. The pack of overactors, that is. Finally striking back. Oh, that's a tie. Ooh, what's this? Is Green Impulse. Random guy not looking so untouchable now. Heavy weapons guy finally putting up a fight. Boosh! Blech. Tiny sliver of health gain, but, like that makes no difference. Literally. But I suppose if they made it too much, then Green Impulse would be OP. Oh, the Chasmosaurus survived! Ooh, it could have got a lightning spear there, but instead, the egg attack will be coming in from the Uluru Titan, and Heavy Weapons Guy will even the score. Okay, we're skipping this. Okay, as for Random Guy's second dino, we have a Tank Dino Tector. Dino Tector Tanko! This could be the this could be the big team carrier for random guy 86, but it it will be at a tight disadvantage against that Uluru Titan, which is looking pretty solid so far for heavy weapons guy. Well, despite a really fast and aggressive start from random guy 86, heavy weapons guy has fought his way back into the match, and we're pretty much level pecking. Oh, look at this! Another egg attack coming in. Heavy Weapons Guy, I feel like has stolen this match's momentum. I mean, it could have easily gone from bad to worse after that Lightning Spear. Oh, that would have been... If the Lightning Axe had activated that, that first Lightning Spear, the Alio Remus would have died straight away. And then, this thing would have got Lightning Speared. Oh, terrible, terrible. But I'll tell you what, Random Guy 86 at the minute just can't buy himself a hit. Heavy weapons guys really turned this match around. Oh, there's a tie. Could have done with that last time, to be honest. Would have got Crystal Crusher off. Another tie. No green impulse though. There's a tie recovery effect. Oh, and a much needed crit from random guy 86. And it's a spike arrows. Oh, shedding its quills there, the side chain. Well, tank. Shedding her quills there. So she looks pretty. And a much needed hit from Random Guy. But the Uruwa Titan does get off a crit here. And it's a kamikaze tackle, which will finish off tank. And give Heavy Weapons Guy a 2 1 lead. Which seemed quite unlikely at the start of this matchup. But for Random Guy 86, we have an Alpha Allosaurus, which will have the type advantage over Uluru Titan, so I feel like Random Guy's not out of this yet. You know, one ninja attack again, right back in this game. And then it'll come down to both of our combatants' third dinosaurs. But this has been a very in ex enticing match. Yep, there's the ninja attack that will all but seal the fate of the Uluru Titan. Like, when this match started and he got off a lightning spear right at the start, I thought, oh, this could be a quick match. Heavy weapons guy could be in trouble, you know, but gotta give him credit for fighting his way back. And look at this, we are level pecking. Alright, as for heavy weapons guy's third dino, we have an Amplosaurus. This Amplosaurus is 
probably going to be important going forward for Heavy Weapons Guy. Should he face some fire dinosaurs, which, well, I'm pretty sure, pretty confident he will. But can he use it to win this matchup? Or can Random Guy secure the win with his Alpha Amasaurus? So it comes down to this. Ooh, the Ampelosaurus gets the first hit. No shockwave, though. The Allosaurus, though, does get off a hit. And another and a tie bomb. Tie bombs could be crucial in this matchup, as will the poison. That was a good hit there by Random Guy 86. Oh, this is going to be tough, because both of these combatants have done well. Oh, it's an ACT rocket. When that thing lands, the Ampelosaurus is going to take some damage. And a lot of it. I think that might guarantee that we could see a winner. Okay, there's the poison. Oh, I think Random Guy has turned the screw. The Ampelosaurus can't get any hits. And yeah, that's it. Random Guy's won. Because that rocket is going to come down eventually. And that rocket will finish off the Ampelosaurus. So yeah, Random Guy's won. Although, the Ampelosaurus... Oh, hang on a minute. Maybe not. Has Ampelosaurus healed enough health to survive? It's an exciting strawberry cake. Oh, I don't know if it's going to survive. But it does get off a hit. Will it survive this? Oh, it does! It does! Oh, the Ampelosaurus survives! But unfortunately for Heavy Weapons Guy, the Allosaurus does get off the hit to finish off the Ampelosaurus and give Random Guy 86 the win. But it is not all doom and gloom for Heavy Weapons Guy. They will not be leaving this match empty handed since the Allo's health was below half. Heavy Weapons Guy will get a losing bonus point, and you never know how crucial that could be. But yeah, that was a really exciting, that was a really good match. Like, that could have gone either way. That that was such a close match. Like, at the, especially at the beginning, with, with the Lightning Spear, and you thought, okay, yeah, Random Guy's going to win this easy. But no, Heavy Weapons Guy really came back into it. And I think overall might have got off more hits in the end, but we'll just... I'll probably count them up when I edit the video, but yeah, that's enough about that matchup. Let's move on to our final matchup of this session, which sees DBW's original Gangsters 2 taking on Fool's Cap Amato. Alrighty then, in the red corner for DBW's original Gangsters, or I'm just going to call them Dog 2, we have a Baryonyx. Baryonyx, the most popular dinosaur used in my last tournament. Quite a few Barrys in this tournament, mainly Super Barrys. But this Baryonyx is definitely an attacking tilter. Alright, in the blue corner for Fool's Camp, we have a Uteraptor. Raptor seems to be quite used in this in these tournaments as well. Uteraptor, pretty solid. Not to be trifled with the little fella. Laying down the law there. And I don't know who's gonna win this map. I don't know. I feel like I feel like this one could go either way. It's probably like a glorious like tight matchup that I'm missing, but you know, this is me we're talking about. Ooh, the Uteraptor gets the first hit. Decent amount of damage dealt there. This Uteraptor is attack type, so it does pack a punch. And the Baryonyx is finding out how much of a punch it packs. Look at that go. Good start from Fool's Cap. Ooh, but the Baryonyx does get off a water sword. Dog 2 getting their first hit of the match. But the Dino Illusion has been triggered, so that will spare Fool's Cat a hit from the Barry, should it get one. And it does get off a hit. It is the Dino Illusion doing its work there. Do, 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 do. Saving the Uteraptor from getting hit by that water sword. Ooh, but it won't save again. Hit from this tragic sphere. Ooh. Is the Uteraptor done? No. And once again, Dino Illusion being triggered. 
but the Raptor is on low health, so two ties could kill it. Oh, there's one tie. Oh, but there's no tie number two, as a light recovery comes in. The Baryonyx going down, and Fool's Capamato is going to have a 1 0 lead. But it's not much of a lead. But it will have the Dino Illusion. Alright, as for Do as for Dog 2 second Dino, we have a Tarkia. This Tarkia is quite the beast. It's a very brainy dinosaur as well, apparently, because it has a big head for an Ankylosaur. Yes, that roll attack will do some damage. But, but Dog's gotta get past the Dino Illusion first. Oh, it's another hit from the Uteraptor! The more hits this Uteraptor gets, the bigger the lead Fool's Cap will have. Okay, there's a hit from the Tarkia, but again, the Dino Illusion's gonna stop the damage. But that now means that this Uteraptor can finally be killed. Oh, Brick just can't get the hit! The Uteraptor get another hit there! Chipping away at Takia's health. Extending Fool's Cat's lead. Oh, and Fool's Cat might have just gone 2-0 up. And in fact, they have. It's a 2-0 lead for Fool's Cat. Alright, as for Dog's third and final dino, we have a Super Therizinosaurus. Awaken mode on 4. So it will, well, it will definitely need to play the long game here. As it will have to get past the Uteraptor first. Then it's got to defeat two more of Fool's Cap's dinosaurs if Dog 2 wants to win this match. Wow, that just shows how powerful Dino Illusion can be. The Uteraptor again, another hit! Is Fool's Cap going to win 3 now? Okay, that's one. Okay, finally the Uteraptor goes down. Finally, D Dog 2 gets a hit. And finally, the Uteraptor is defeated, but... As for Fool's Cap's second dino, we have an Alpha Acrocanthosaurus. Again, another popular dinosaur in this tournament, and a popular dinosaur in general. What kind of challenge will this Alpha Acro present Dog to? Okay, we've won, so three more for the Awaken move. Ooh, the claw blade again triggered for the Alpha Acro again to hit. It's an Alpha Dart. Boop, 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 boop. And loose. Ah, oh, it's a dish. It's going to do some damage. That's twice. Ooh, it's a claw. I forget. Gyro Claw, Gyro Claw. It's a Gyro Claw. Could DBW's original Gangsters 2 get back in this match? That's three times. Ooh, I tell you what. Next round is Awakening Time. Can this be a comeback? It's Awakening Time. I should also point out that um, Fool's Cap is already guaranteed points since the fairies hate seeds below half. Oh, it gets the hit! Well, it's kind of a waste, to be honest. Because he's like, Akra's got no elf left. Well, look at this. Fool's Cap down to their third dino, and that dino being the Staracosaurus. Well, this would be an insanely impressive comeback if Dog 2 can see it home. But one hit from the Staracosaurus will end that comeback. Oh, <laughs> oh it's got a crack! Oh, Fool's Cat must be getting nervous all of a sudden. Okay, comeback's over. Staracosaurus coming in to finish the job. That the Alpha Acro couldn't and give Fool's Cap the win over Dog 2. But give Dog 2 some credit. That was a really impressive fight back there from 2 0 down to pull it back, but in the end, just had too much to do. 
So, yeah, yeah. I feel like if the Alpha Acro had died and then the Awaken Mode had been triggered, that could have made a difference. But, you know, a good win there for Fool's Cap and a good start to the tournament. Getting off the mark with three points. So, let's have a look at the table and then we can end the session. Well, Group G definitely spicing up a bit. You got Fool's Cap, Random Guy, and Adolf Adams on three points, claiming opening round wins. And then we have Heavy Weapons Guy with a crucial losing bonus point there against Random Guy 86, which I feel like that's the least they deserved for their efforts. And then we have Nopey and DBW's Original Gangsters 2 rooted to the bottom with zero points. So yeah, let's have a look at the matchups for round two. So we will see, ooh, Random Guy 86 taking on Dog 2, Nopey going up against Fool's Cap Amat though, and then Adolf Adams taking on Heavy Weapons Guy. So yeah, that's going to end this session here, hope you enjoyed, stay tuned for next time, we will kick off round 1 for Group H, and until then, this is Stranger Gamer, signing out. <laughs>